channel. So uh, let's talk about was that the bottom for Bitcoin. So I want to start this video off saying a you know not financial advice. B I don't have a crystal ball. I don't I don't necessarily know 100%. But I want to give you guys my insights on this. So um, yesterday was a scary day for many. Look at this wick, just absolutely insane, right? Bitcoin hit a low of 28,800 on the day and it started happening quick right it was just sort of cascading and down and down and down and you're seeing you know people who are going long and those orders getting liquidated and then you kind of just keep going and going and going it snowballs and typically um, as is almost always the rule right when you're looking at you know sort of the peak uh, within cycles and even the bottoms right within you know cycles of cycles of markets um, sometimes you know the, the low will be even lower than anyone than, than most people expect and the highs oftentimes will be even higher than people expect um, that's why, you know, trying to guess bottoms and tops is near impossible, right? Um, but one of the interesting things I want to look at, so this is a really, really crucial line yesterday, right? So this, uh, what is this? This is 31,037 bucks. Roughly, let's just say 31,000, right? We, we tested there on that initial drop. We, we went past it um, with the wick. We had, you know, the next time we came down, we touched it. Uh, and then another time down, we came and we touched it again. So everybody was looking... You know, really at this level, as sort of a key level of like, man, if we break this, we're going lower, right? And what I have been noticing, I think, in a lot of other people is, you know, since we've kind of been in this in this market cycle, um, sort of, you know, prior to Bitcoin getting to like 55, 60k, as that's been running up, so many of these things just seem so counterintuitive, right? It doesn't mean the technical analysis is obviously never like 100%, right? Even if all you know all the you know factors line up. It's like poker, right? Just because you have pocket aces and a great flop, like the chances of you winning that are never 100% There's, it, until they are, right? Um, so what I've noticed is that it seems like so many of these things just keep hitting these, these psychological levels that uh, I would say those who are moving big, big, big amounts of money around know that most of the traders and people who are you know doing big leverage orders they know that these people are looking for these signs right so people are looking oh if we break this level and then we have a, you know some candles in the one hour that confirm that we're going lower so I'll place my shorts and then they go okay whoop right back up right and it just seems to be like I said very counterintuitive to what everybody's doing but the way that this snapped down and how quickly things snapped right back up up to you know from 28.8 back up to 32 and then we retest and keep going that's a really healthy sign in my opinion um, does that mean we're not going to retest? No, I, I think there's a decent chance that we're, that Bitcoin's going to come back down this range of 30 to 31, 32. Again, nobody knows, right? Nobody's a crystal ball. Um, but you know, again, the, the the way to look at things from my perspective, right? I think I think it, it changes the game quite a bit. A, when you decide what's your time horizon, right? I'm not a big trader. I'm not sitting here trading the markets all day. I think it's it's too much stress, and I end up you know making probably not even any more money by doing it. Um, but the, the question is, right, did the fundamentals change, right? Because the day-to-day -day reflection of price is not actually corresponding to value, right? It's just a temporary moment in which the Bitcoin floating, you know, that, that, is, that isn't being held by people and isn't lost, just sort of, you know, what is the short-term representation of price at that moment? Um, and I think we all know, right, you look at the fundamentals for Bitcoin, you have just a rampant amount of printing going on with governments you know, worldwide, you've got, I think, almost $30 trillion globally. In the last year, the U.S. alone printed 39% of all the money that's ever existed. So, you know, and then you see things like, you know, just the arrogance of people at the Fed saying, ah, inflation's temporary or, you know, this, this is all going away. The reality is they don't know. They actually don't know. Um, and how do they not, how do we say that with confidence? This is a situation they've never been in before. And, you know, it's such as human nature, those who like power, people want to, nobody wants to admit that they don't know what's going on, right? Everybody, uh, most people are even willing to lie and pretend like they know what's going on, just so that they don't have to, you know, deal with an internal reality of, well, I don't really know what's going on. Um, but that's why it's so, so dangerous sometimes if your time horizon is so short, uh, or even so medium term, right? Because the question is, if I say over the next month, right, is Bitcoin going to be much higher than it is now? You're going to get a lot of yeses, a lot of noes, a lot of I don't knows. Um, but as you start to extend that out to one year, to two years, to four years, that, that answer changes and, and becomes strikingly obvious what's going to happen. Um, and that's because over the longer term, you know, fundamentals are allowed to play. You know, you, you can't, manipulation can't hold down fundamentals indefinitely, right? But, it, but that can happen on any short time scale. So is this the bottom for Bitcoin? I think likely... 
in this cycle apart from some kind of freak black swan type of event where you know the markets just tank very quickly in the short term i i think that 28.8 probably likely is near at the bottom uh you know it, it's near the bottom before we're going to make much higher highs i think uh for bitcoin so Hard to say, nobody's a crystal ball. I hope that this video was uh, worth watching for you guys. If so, smash the like button and comment below what kind of stuff you guys want me to cover next. I got a lot more videos on the way. Thanks.